Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name's Lauren. And in today's video, I am going into the thrift store to see if I can find some fall stuff on my wish list. My wish list. I really would love to find like a Cezanne inspired cardigan. And I would like to find a like long lightweight rain jacket. And something else on my wish list would be like kind of oversized wide leg -like jeans. I don't think I'm gonna find those. I have a couple things on my wish list. I'll kind of like show some inspiration pictures and then uh, we will head over to the thrift store and see what they have. I started off in the men's sweater section because it's right in the front of the store and a lot of stuff caught my eye like this wide ribbed sweater. I really like the buttons and the tipping details so I decided to try that on. The thing that really caught my eye though was this like cable knit nep yarn sweater. It was really, really beautiful, but it looked, it was so itchy and I knew that it would be uncomfortable for me to wear. I'm like feeling it. I'm like, maybe I could get away with it, but no, on to the next. This, I really loved the pattern on it. So I decided to try this on as well. In the coat section, I was really looking for just like a rain jacket, lightweight with a hood, very specific. <laughs> And so there was mostly like down jackets and wool jackets. So nothing was really catching my eye in terms of what I was looking for, but a lot of coats, so many coats. If you guys are looking for coats, the thrift store is a great place to look for coats. They have such a wide selection of different lengths and varieties and modern and vintage. There's definitely a lot of stuff that caught my eye, but just nothing that fulfilled the need of a rain jacket. I really love this purple coat, but I just don't need it. This little turtleneck knit top. I have something similar, but I was really drawn to the colors. This is so funny, I had to show you guys. So this is me trying on that wide rib sweater. I don't know, the fit just wasn't what I wanted. This, I really liked this, but the bottom was like weirdly tight, so I said no. This sweater I really loved. I really loved the 90s feel and the v-neck. I really like this surplus sweater, but the front was just too fidgety like I just kept I knew it would just fly open it would bother me so this was a no this set I'm sure I love this so much super easy could wear it as a shirt or a jacket this little gam twin print top I really loved this but it was just too tight on me so I had to say goodbye okay so we are back from the thrift store and I washed everything and I want to show you guys everything I picked up Okay, so the first thing is really boring, but I figured I'd show you guys anyway. It's these Adidas sweatpants with the black stripe and they're gray and they're a little bit cropped. I love getting sweats at the thrift store. I think it's, they're really affordable and I just don't have that much like comfy clothes. I don't know why. <laughs> I was just wearing the same thing, I guess, all the time. Now I have a nice selection of sweatpants thanks to the thrift store. And these ended up being about $5. Next piece, I think you guys saw in the try-on clips, but it's this sweater. It's originally from the brand Liberty Sweaters, made in the USA. It's a men's sweater. It just has a stripe down the center with the V-neck. I don't have any V-neck sweaters, but I thought, I tried this on and there was just something about it that made it feel like really cool and fun. And I feel like it adds something different to my wardrobe. And it's extremely soft, so I'm definitely excited to like be cozy in this this winter. I think what drew me to this also was the sort of 90s look. I really like these sort of placed stripes. I'm not really an all over stripe kind of gal. So having these placed stripes and adding a little bit of an interest to an otherwise plain sweater is a really fun detail. And I do love that there's this little navy stripe on the neckline sleeve and hem as well. And that sweater was $9. Next thing I picked up was this Modelo t-shirt. It's such a nice 100% cotton t-shirt. The fit is really lovely. It's like short and wide, which is my ideal proportion for a t-shirt. And it's 100% cotton, so it's really comfortable. It's really worn in. It feels like structured yet soft, which is very nice. And I just really love this. And what's nice about it is it's kind of a graphic tee with this kind of fun, beer logo on it but all these colors also work really well with my wardrobe so i think this is going to fit in great with what i already have and that t-shirt was two dollars and fifty cents the next thing that i picked up was this denim shirt from the brand cabela's and the reason i really loved this was of course the wash it's such a nice like mid blue tone sort of on the light wash end i love jeans this color so i knew i would love a, a top this color 
And then these pockets also are really fun. They're not just your kind of standard patch pocket or flat pocket. They have this little pleated detail, which I think is really nice. And then the last thing that I actually noticed after I bought it were these like reinforced armpit stitches. I don't know, it's like a go-day or something's happening down here to reinforce these armpits, I guess, so you don't have holes in the armpits from wearing it a lot. It just gives me the impression that it's a well-made shirt and is a high quality piece because they put all of this detail and stitching and make into literally the armpit. And it also feels pretty well made. I mean, it's denim at the end of the day, but it's very nice. It's not like too thick of a denim. So I feel like it's not like too stiff, but definitely has some, some weight to it. And this was $12.50. So kind of expensive, but I think cause it's like a brand name, you know, Cabela's is uh, well known, I guess. I don't know that much about Cabela's, but I've seen them. So maybe that's why it was like more on the expensive side. The last item that I have from the thrift store is this little corduroy shirt from the brand Woolrich. And look at this beautiful like wine corduroy. It's so beautiful. I saw this and I was like, I have to have this. It had a little like mark or something on the placket when I picked it up, but I washed it and it's gone. I love when that happens. <laughs> I'm very into testing out corduroy and bringing it into my wardrobe. I have some corduroy pants. I have this corduroy shirt. I love texture and so this really feeds my soul and it's such a rich color and I feel like it's just perfect for fall. So I had to pick this guy up. I'm very excited to wear it. And then this guy was $5.50. So the total at the thrift store was about $35. And then I actually went to a secondhand shop a couple of days ago and I picked up one more item. So I wanna show you guys that as well. I bought this last item at a consignment shop. So it was much more expensive than all the other items. In fact, it was almost as much as all the other items combined. This was, let's see. $30.95 and it's these Lee jeans overalls. I have a light wash pair of overalls similar to this, but this is a completely different fit from those. So the other ones are very baggy. They're very long. I have to roll up the leg. They're super loose and soft. And these ones are still soft, but definitely more of a stiffer denim and they're more fitted. Not too fitted, I'll, I'll show you guys what they look like on me, but more fitted through the leg and then a cropped pant leg, which I really love. I don't have to, this is the one pair of overalls that I have, I don't have to roll up the pant legs. And then I also really like the pocket that's like round. That's a very weird thing to say. And the little, the little loops for the buttons are also like really cute and nice. I don't know, it's these little details that really get me excited and make me want to purchase things. And I just, I also love the little patch on here and it's also on the back. I don't know, just something about these made me really interested in picking them up. I have so many pairs of overalls, but I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these as well. So that is everything that I picked up recently. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't wanna miss anything from me, make sure to subscribe. I put out new videos on Sundays and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.